my super beautiful, lovely souls. It's Lily Lightworker here. Today I'm bringing you guys a New Year's Twin Flame reading. So this is gonna be going into 2020. I wanna know what energy were you carrying all year? What energy was your twin maybe carrying all year? What you need to release or surrender? What they maybe need to release or surrender? Will there be contact or activity over the next three months? What can, what can we expect over the next three months? And then energy to either adopt or release going into 2020. And if you'd like to hear all these messages, please stay tuned. And I will provide timestamps in the description box. We are starting with Capricorn because we are in Capricorn season. So Capricorn, in twin flame separation, what energy was Capricorn carrying all year this year? We're getting greed, so it could be that Capricorn was really feeling like they needed this connection. They needed it in a way where it became like a greedy thing. They were maybe greedy of, um, you know, their expectations towards, uh, you know, having a relationship with their twin or wanting to be with their twin or wanting their twin all to themselves where they may struggle with the fact that they don't know what their twin is doing in separation. That may be bothering them. They might have felt possessive towards their twin. You may have, might, may have felt that way, Capricorn. You may have felt that, you know, you're owed something. It's due to you. And you're getting in an energy where you're expecting or you're wanting, um, you know, more than can be given to you, if that makes any sense. So also could have to indicate things in your year that there was problems with in your personal life. It could be that um, there's maybe abuse of power going on somewhere in your life or, you know, you're feeling kind of low at your job and you're wanting more money or more status or more power. There's sort of like a looming energy hanging over when it comes to that. So that could be what also you were feeling towards your twin, but sort of an energy where there needs a little bit of gratitude met at that end of the greed part. So what type of an energy was your twin carrying all year? And we're getting calmness. So they were on the total opposite spectrum of you where they may have felt in separation that they were able to look within more. They were able to uh, find peace in their life in different areas of their life. They were, they were looking at their life, examining it, examining the things that you know, they want to put to the forefront of their life that's going to bring them peace and calm and happiness. They could have been working on their energy and centering. Um, they could have begun to let some things go about the past and it's freeing up some, you know, new space for new um, energy to come in, like a new beautiful energy to come in. So they were acting with calmness and that could have been something that they needed to learn in separation just like something you might need to learn is like this never sort of satisfied energy and you know you guys might shake your head and get pissed and think that you know you're being like um targeted or whatever but you know it's it's all true because we all can get like this in this energy where we want more of something or we want more attention or we want more money or we want more power or recognition so it's not a bad thing it's just what we need to meet with it. So the opposite of greed is gratitude. And then for your twin, they could be coming into a period where they have just now learned how to make themselves happy, which is all part of things we need to do and things we need to change when we're in separation for the better, for the better. Remember guys, if this is being shown to you, this greed energy, it's because your twin reflected it to you. So it's obviously is a problem or something that needs to be worked on or needs to be dealt with. And all part of contract, baby. We decided these things, what we would learn. So, okay, I want to know what you maybe need to release in the coming year. Um, something you might have been holding on to in energy. So what do you need to release or surrender um, in the coming new year? Surrender your desire to control people. So being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals 
back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Yeah, absolutely. So it could be that you're a little more bitter, Capricorn, about the separation than your twin. Your twin maybe doesn't even know that this is twin flame, but meeting you and, and maybe even separating from you has put them at a new level of calmness and peace that they needed. So you brought them something completely beautiful, a beautiful change. And now you may be struggling a little bit with your own change. Okay, you might be feeling a little bit stuck. Uh, you might be feeling a little bit fearful of commitments or fearful that if you put into something, you're not going to get back what you put in or you're just fearful to be hurt. So there's some energy um, of fear and with fear comes the desire to want to control things and control people and control situations. So that could be something to work on so it can properly align you better with your twin so you can reunite and you won't be in this energy anymore. So lots of uh, good, very valuable lessons. So what about your twin? And theirs is to surrender to the wisdom of their body. Um, so more so listen to their body's messages about a person or situation. They may feel drained easily. They may be a bit empathic. I don't know if you were picking up on that Capricorn with them. Um, where, you know, they just have this beautiful energy that you're drawn to and you need, 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 need it. But they need to pay attention to the wisdom of their body, whatever their body is telling them. So it could be that they need more rest or to take better care of themselves um, mentally, physically. Um, you know, and if you, the, the theory is, is that if you are taking good care of yourself and you are um, really putting the focus on yourself in a positive way that you're going to attract positive to you um, using the different laws of the universe and the laws of attraction. So they may be um, finally coming into an energy of that. I feel like Capricorn, even though you're in this energy, you have done great healing to your twin. You have sent energy, believe it or not, that is incredible healing for your twin to open up and your twin can only reflect this back to you. So you can expect to um, dissolve these energies. I do believe that that will come for you. Okay. So let's talk about over the next three months, will there be contact? I feel like there will be, and I feel like there'll be a really a big exchange of um, bit why you acted the way you both did behaviors. I feel like there's going to be a big discussion and I feel like there might be a discussion about the future. I also feel like by this time you may feel that everything has fallen better into place and you've got a better handle on things. Um, as far as the connection you want to have with your twin, the connection that is what you want to try to grow with your twin, um, more future planning, so to speak, or more just future planning for yourself to feel more stable and secure that I feel like you will be working on that more so the saving money, the putting a plan together for the future, what you really want, what you really need out of a relationship, out of a partner. And I feel like you'll be able to reflect that to your twin. So energy to adopt or release going into 2020. What is some energy to either adopt or release going into the new year, 2020? And we're getting magician in the mirror. So it's to take a really, really good look at yourself. Um, expose the things that you're afraid of within yourself. Expose the darker parts of yourself so you can meet them with light. Everything can be met with light. All dark can be met with light. All light can be met with dark. That is what balance is all about. So that's what this has to do with a, a balance. Um, and learning what you don't like about yourself, maybe what you project outwardly, um, projected to your twin and it could have pushed them away a bit or vice versa. To me, this is saying that you have the power to heal yourself and you're being called to come to attention to heal yourself. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Now let's get on to our next cards and we're going to work on Taurus next. Okay. Taurus. Let's get into you, darling. So Taurus, what energy were you carrying all year long? What energy were you carrying all year long? We're getting desire. So you could have deep desire to want to be with your twin. You could have deep desire now because you were with your twin. And now you've never known anything like that before. And you're sort of like really hung up on it and really wanting it back in your life. Um... You have wants and needs, you have desires, you have things that you want to come into fruitation. I feel like 
you're desiring your twin so much that it may even be stopping you from working on your other desires. Like we all have other desires, like desires to be maybe rich and powerful or to do our dream job or buy a home or whatever it may be. There's other desires that you need to focus on for you to make yourself happy, I feel like. So it could be that this year, you know, you're going to be working on a promotion or you're going to make a major move or you're going to decide to buy property or you're going to decide to maybe go back to school. There's something else here that you need to be aware of that when separation occurred, it was to supposed to open you up to new desire for yourself, to fulfill your desires, okay? But you are deeply desiring your twin, and it's very, very intense. It's almost magical and, and very, like, sexual seductive, I feel like. There's a very strong, like, this gut feeling thing that pulls you um, towards your twin, and you just have all the desire in the world for that. Um, what, was, what was your twin energy carrying? They were carrying pain. So it could be that in separation, maybe they didn't show it or maybe they weren't able to sort of relay it to you, but they have great pain over this. So they're missing you. They may have issues of their own that have nothing to do with you that are causing them mental pain or grief or worry or strife. They're in an energy where it could be physical or mental. It could be even spiritual. There's a longing that I'm feeling as well. So you're both longing for each other and you're in different energies. Longing of desire and this is longing that causes pain because it's not reciprocated. Um... I'm picking up on Pisces, Taurus. I don't know. I mean, that's just coming in from spirit. So if it, if that's what it is, or there's a connection like that, um, maybe specifically for someone out there that's hearing this message, there is something about this person needs to resolve their own pain. You can't do it for them. And this could be part of the reason what caused separation between the two of you. But ultimately, there is... Um, they are carrying the energy of pain, of longing, missing you. Like I said, it could be mental or physical. It is something that they need to get to the root of it and try to resolve. So what maybe you need to release going into 2020? We're getting surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So don't worry about the past so much anymore. I feel like this is telling you that you have to really trust what you're feeling inside about where you're supposed to be, what you're driven to, what you're being pulled towards. Like if you keep thinking school, it means you need to do it. If you keep thinking a new job, it means you need to go look for it. If you are even in a relationship outside of your twin and you guys are in separation and this relationship is causing you issues or people that you're around are trying to push you into doing things you don't want, you're just confused. I feel like you need to trust your gut. Going into 2020, release the fact that listening to other people and all that mess, you need to listen to you from now on. Listen to your internal voice is your higher self voice. It's always going to tell you the truth. It's not going to sugarcoat shit. It's never going to lie to you. So learn to trust that gut. And then something that they need to release and they may be doing negative thinking, which could be causing them pain, okay? So you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus. Or you can ask Archangel Uriel to transmute negative thinking into positive thinking. You just have to sweep away a negative, like a cluster of negative thoughts with a cluster of positive thoughts. That's the only way to sort of meet this. So they may be really struggling with some issues. I feel like they might be someone that's in a deep depression and it could be something that pulled you two apart and they always think negatively they always think the worst they always think why me poor me um you know and they may have victim mentality that is causing them pain and it's causing them pain because you may be not a part of this anymore you might have turned away from this because it was too much to deal with so that's what they need to surrender to so will there be any contact over the next three months I feel like there could be. I feel like it's going to be you, Taurus, reaching out to them, almost like a checking in with them, almost like you want to know what's up or you're just curious or you want to see if they're okay. I feel like you're going to be in a much better energy and a much better place than them. I feel like you are. You might be more the higher twin, the elevated twin, and they might be a little bit of the lower twin. I feel like you might want to rescue them. There's a sense to me that you
you feel like you need to rescue them or you need to help them or you need to be present for them. So that might come in the next three months. And then let's talk about any energy to adopt or release. Adopt or release going into 2020. Adopt appreciation, okay? Appreciation for this whole experience because we get stuck on the, oh my God, it's so painful. Oh my God, I can't take this. Oh, you know, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why am I so upset? Why am I can't stop thinking about my twin? So I feel like appreciate the journey, appreciate the situation because it is teaching you. And if you look back a year ago today, what do you see? How different are you? You have to ask that. I feel like that's what you're being called to ask and appreciate from then till now and then going into the future. Also appreciate the fact that you may be in a better place because you have separated from your twin. I know that that sounds crazy and everybody wants to be in alignment, but it might be that you are now put in a better energy because you are away from your twin and the pain they carry and the way they feel and they might be always negative. So that might have been holding you back. So appreciate that going into 2020. All right, Taurus. Now we're going to do Virgo. So Virgo, with your twin flame, what is an energy that you were carrying all year long? What is an energy that you were carrying all year long? Empathy. So you might have been feeling a little bit more empathetic towards your twin, towards yourself even, and the people around you. It's that sometimes twins, they can definitely sort of activate our psychic abilities. So Virgo, you may have been your whole life an empath. You may feel very empathic. You may feel drained a lot that other people suck your energy or you can't stand crowds or you don't like to be worried and not have an answer. Um, empathy, you may be feeling this towards your twin. You may be feeling like your twin was a little bit draining of your energy at times, but you're feeling for them. You're feeling their emotions. You're feeling their uh, energy. You're feeling their sadness or their happiness um, or their grief. Like whatever it is that, that the feelings are powerful, you're feeling these feelings. And it's like psychomatic. It's almost like it comes and goes for you. You could wake up happy and then all of a sudden you're sad and you really don't know why and you can't trace it. I feel like it's the people around you as well. But your twin activated this power in you. Okay. So what is... um. Excuse me, I'm like getting a little choked up here. You, what is your twin energy carrying? What was your twin's energy carrying all year? Disappointment. So they could be disappointed that this went into separation. They could feel like they missed out on something or that they were tossed aside or that they were not good enough or that, you know, their energy wasn't mass matching up with yours, so to speak. But more or less, they're carrying an energy of that sort of regretful, sort of that maybe I should have done this or maybe I should have done that or maybe I shouldn't have said this or maybe I should have said that. They're feeling like they caused this. Um, and it, it's usually never all one person's fault. I mean, there really is no fault. It's just for learning. But I feel like they're disappointed that they didn't get what they wanted, that they didn't get what they needed, that you maybe turned away from them or they turned away from you and now they regret it and they don't know how to come back to you. So yeah, disappointment. And it's sort of making them stagnant. Um, so let's talk about what you maybe need to release what you maybe need to release or surrender. So we're getting surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. That is true. Prayer is very powerful. It's like mental manifestation. If you're picturing what you're praying for happening, like someone to be well or you to reconnect in a positive way with your twin, that can happen. You're directing your direct energy from the prayer in the thoughts in your head it's it literally is like making it real so just remember that and that might be something that you maybe need to get into a little bit more is prayer and practice it and try it out and see if it does bring you back positive results so what is maybe something that they need to release or surrender and surrender to play take a break from an overthinking a goal do something fun play time play as a play as a time of recreation and rejuvenation rejuvenation. I can't even talk. I'm so excited to do this. So they might 
not know how to have fun. That's what I'm getting from that. They might be in such this disappointment, dread, blah, poor me energy that they don't even know how to f have fun. And that could have been a problem because I feel like Virgo, you could be in your shell a lot and you need someone to bring you out. And if you don't have that, it's like you're not evolving or growing. So that could be something that you know, could have gone wrong here a little bit and caused a separation, but they don't know how to have fun. They don't know how to take a joke. They don't know how to um, go along or do tit for tat, kind of fooling around funny kind of stuff with you. They don't know how to do that. So that might be something that this year they need to focus on to try to come out of that energy and really, you know, realize that life is short and, you know, put focus on self and try to make yourselves happy the best you can. So will there be any contact in the next three months? I don't feel like there will at this time. I feel like there's more of this um, seriousness. There's more of this think, trying to think logically, trying to come to realizations about things, trying to change your way of thinking, trying to be fair and balanced and trying to get all of that back or get all of that in your life. So I feel like some more time would need to go by and, um, you know, it's not balanced at this time. It's not right at this time. It's not fair at this time to sort of try to uh, merge back. So what type of energy to either adopt or release going into 2020? Adopt or release. So release embarrassment. So there's something here that maybe you feel embarrassed about or they feel embarrassed about that they have done. They maybe feel like they can't even show their face to you or you feel like you could have dealt with the situation a little bit better so you might feel like you can't show your face to them. There is definitely um, a feeling of that like bashfulness or oh my god I want to run if I see them like oh I can't see them right now oh my god I can't talk to them right now sort of like this a little bit of this running and then something that maybe they need to release going into 2020 and we're getting shadiness so there could be something that you know they're beating around the bush about or something they never told you or ways that they were acting that made you think that they were you know maybe seeing someone else or just being secretive and it, it gave you sort of bad vibes and maybe you disconnected because of it but um yeah they're gonna need to release that shadiness going into 2020. And we're getting for the final card for everybody is going to be healer of the ages. So only we can heal ourselves. Only we can look at these things that are wrong or destructive to us or disturbing us or stopping us from going on our full journeys or aligning us on our right paths to happiness, success, love, money, everything that we want, we can have. We just have to think it, it is so powerful, guys. I promise you your thoughts, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, are so powerful powerful. I hope you enjoyed this guys. Let me know what you think and love and light. Happy 2020 to everybody. Thank you for joining me.